It was a full house in the Wisconsin state capitol on Wednesday. The Senate Health Committee held a public hearing on five bills that would protect the unvaccinated from discrimination. Two would prohibit so-called vaccine passports. There's already cause for concern. Now Marcus Cinema is even having separate movie theater showings for vaccinated individuals only. For some staff at the Capitol who attend Capitol Fitness just off the square, if they are not vaccinated, they make them wear an unvaccinated wristband. Sure enough, I walked into Capital Fitness, I asked for an unvaccinated wristband, and here you go. You know, I, I had one constituent of mine say, how is this different than the Star of David in Nazi Germany? When someone makes an asinine comment about saying the star of a, uh, the star, yellow star in Nazi Germany the in a concentration David, camp Senator. is bullshit. It's not in a concentration camp. They were forced to wear it. You said yellow that. star and you referenced Nazi Germany. Yes, but you're so not. So those listening. are hesitations. Those are conspiracy theories. They're unvaccinated are being forced to wear a wristband to show that they are unvaccinated if they're going to participate in an activity in a business. The comment was made that in Nazi Germany, Jews were forced to wear a star of David to show their nationality. Discrimination is singling somebody out that chooses not to make the same decision as you. You discriminate against that group of people. That's where the comment was made, and that is where the comment is directed. Democrat Senator Tim Carpenter, needless to say, was not convinced, nor was he particularly open to anything else Senator Mary Felskowski had to say. If, Senator Carpenter, you had been at the hearing yesterday or read Dr. Riveron's testimony around natural immunity. I've heard enough crap. I think someone needs to stand up against the conspiracy theories of you and the Republicans on this issue. It's deplorable that you're moving forward and not doing something. I want to know concretely, what are you going to do to save lives? I don't think you're willing to do anything. We have natural immunity. We have the ability to fight. We don't want a experimental drug put in our system. And that's what we are here today defending, is the people's right to choose and make that decision with their medical provider for themselves. There's no delusion that these bills can get past Governor Evers' veto pen and become law this session. But they are important in getting everyone on the record for where they stand going into the elections this fall. And there certainly was no bashfulness about going on the record here. For the McIver Institute, I'm Bill Osmolsky.